Hello, everyone, and welcome to your third of four fan-requested Friday matchups of the week. Dennis Tenorino versus Danny Padilla. Now, the thing of it is, I usually don't accept 1980s guys, 1970s guys for the Fan Request Friday lineup, but I thought, what the heck, what the heck. I don't accept uh, men's classic physique division guys, basically because they don't have all the shots. And we are missing out on the rear double and the rear lat spread. And that holds true with all of Dennis Tenorino's comparisons that I have done. This, of course, is the front relaxed position. You may take note, Dennis Tenorino is a giant. He's pretty tall. And Danny Padilla is pretty short. And when you compare the two, one guy dwarfs the other. Go through the poses here. And honestly, guys, I do not mean to be disrespectful towards Dennis Tenorino whatsoever. I like this guy. He's a pimp. You know what I'm saying? He, re he really was. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I don't want to be dis disrespectful to him, but in this comparison, Danny Padilla blows him out of the whatever. I'm telling you right now, look at the midsection. Padilla was in shape here in 1981. He has never really reduplicated that. Just as peeled as the day is long was Danny Padilla here. And it is not Padilla, it's Padilla. Look at the arms on the little beast of a man. The arms look bigger on a smaller guy, if you can imagine that. Waistline, wheels, everything, the shape. Much better, much better. Go to the front lat spread. And, yeah, Danny Padilla is much better, but Dennis Tenorino, he's huge. And you could see back in the day, they might even give it to a guy like that, just because his, his, his stature was so much greater. And in a shot like this, you know, he, with this old footage, you can't see the uh, V-taper, or maybe even lack thereof, for Ten Tenorino. Probably not the best pitcher for our friend Padilla, either. But from what you can tell, even from these old ones, look at the teardrop, the muscle separation for Padilla. Or for uh, for both of these guys, Tenorino as well. Look at his teardrops. Both of these dudes. Fantastic. This is the side chest development. Is this a photo shoot, maybe, for Tenorino? I don't know. It's a wrist-touching side chest. They used to do that back in the 60s. Porn. Porn. Or maybe he was a porn star, not a, a pimp. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will let us know in the comment section. Any of you guys uh, let us know. I will pin the comment if I do see it. Very busy, guys. I wish I could see all your comments, things of that nature, but I really don't get a chance. I really don't. Padilla, what can I say, guys? He's just built more form-fitting for bodybuilding. Of course, he's short. He's about a foot shorter, so Tenorino wins this one on height, I guess you could say. Side tricep. Tenorino has the muscle, don't get me wrong. Look at the pecs. He had big pecs, and he has a big old tricep on him as well. Nice delts. And Danny Padilla, he's perfect. Look at the midsection, he even has a big old set of pecs too. Look at that. Big calves as well for a little man. Some of the biggest calves for a guy that height. Tricep for tricep. It still is a battle, but it's just more of a perfect... More of a muscular, stocky build for Danny Padilla without really being stocky. It's actually quite aesthetic. Quite aesthetic indeed. Now this is the only back shot, unfortunately. And the, the old 70s and 60 guys like Tenorino, they loved this shot. They loved it. Look at the hair on Dennis Tenorino. He had that slick back like Alvis. Keep in mind, I'm pretty sure this is the 60s. What a rocking time that would have been. In particular, if you were uh, Dennis Tenorino. Danny Padilla, he is so much better. Padilla, rather. He is so much better. You could compare him with, oh gosh darn it, I don't know. Peter Molnar, of all names? Eh? We'll take a look at this comparison, guys. Look at that. Lat for lat. Oh, everything. Delts, arms. Every, everything but the legs here, I think that Padilla. I mean, wow, wow. Double, triple, quadruple, wow. Quadruple means four. Go to the abs and thigh. And much like all of these poses, Padilla getting an edge as far as the shape, the wheels, the, the, the midsection, lats, everything. I mean, the guy's winning, for sure. 
But this time, Dennis Tenorino, he's probably winning in the abs, if you can believe that one. The guy had some sharp cuts in his midsection. Second to none. Second to none. And he definitely takes, uh, does not take a back seat in the ab department to Danny Padilla. Shape, everything, everything else. Padilla winning this one. For sure, for sure. But man, this, uh, this six-pack of uh, Dennis Tenorino, something to behold. This is 1981. Or no, no, cancel that. 1980 against Arnold Padilla. That's 81. But here, Tenorino, that's, 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 that's when he competed against Arnold. Him and Arnold have been doing battle since the 60s. The 60s. <laughs> Crab position, most muscular. Very fortunate enough to have two of these dudes hitting this pose, even though it was not a mandatory shot at the time. Look at the quality, the arms, everything. Padilla, all the way. Looks like Dennis Tenorino, with all due respect, looks like he's not even on gear, for goodness sakes. And at the time, he probably was on a very low dosage. You can imagine, he was probably pretty much this. Natural. Natural. Considering they probably didn't diet as hard, or they didn't have the proper training, things of that nature. Plus, the guy had a day job. You know, you guys know what it was. Or maybe he was the, the other one. Anyway, maybe. Here's your winner, I think, with these. Danny Padilla, and he will advance on against the heavyweights, and there are some heavy hitters this week in the Monday's main event. Anyway, guys, that's three. Expect one more, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. It is a good one, so I will uh, I will save it for tomorrow. You guys, you guys will be excited to see it. It's a great one. It's a great one. Have a great day.